Does this pretty face ring a bell? You probably know him by his meme name, Hot Felon, but his real name is Jeremy Meeks, and he became a worldwide sensation when his mugshot went viral in 2014. As you may imagine, Jeremy's story is unique and strange. He has been through everything, from gangs, crime, and jail, to a life of wealth, travel, and luxury. Once a dangerous criminal, now he's hanging out with celebrities, modeling for the best brands, and acting in Hollywood movies. So, what is the story of Hot Felon? How did he go from jail to fame? Today, I'll tell you all you need to know about Jeremy Meeks, the criminal who accidentally became famous for being cute. Jeremy was born on February 7th, 1984, and even back then, he had it tough. His parents struggled to remain sober, and they indulged in illegal when Jeremy was only nine months old, his father stabbed his mom's best friend. He was immediately sent away to jail, so he was never really part of Jeremy's life. Jeremy's mother was also problematic, and she went in and out of jail several times as Jeremy and his two siblings were growing up. Not only was Jeremy there as his mother used illegal but he also had to be around her evil boyfriends. So Jeremy's childhood was no walk in the park. He had to behave like an adult from a really young age, and he also needed to contribute to bringing food to the table. As mom and dad were not responsible enough to take care of their kids, Jeremy's older sister ended up legally adopting him and his brother. But the damage was already done, and growing up in such a complicated environment had already taken a toll on Jeremy's well-being. From the youngest age, it was in my blood to make bad decisions. It looked like Jeremy had already started following his father's path of crime, even though he had never really been around. That's how I know genetics are so real, because yeah. I am so much like someone that I had never met before. Like, honestly, it was, like, ridiculous, so... As if his family situation wasn't tough enough, Jeremy had a learning disability that made him struggle a lot in school, so it's no surprise that he preferred hanging out in the streets to studying. When he was in sixth grade, Jeremy moved from Washington to LA and he quickly got involved in street gangs. Then I had to learn really fast about colors and gangs and neighborhoods and sets, you know what I'm saying? Jeremy moved out of his house to the streets at 15 years old, and things started to go even worse. Jeremy was quickly sent to juvenile hall for the first time, and according to him, six days after getting out, he was injured five times with a gun in the foot, legs, and hips. Only six days after that, he was beaten up by a gang. Jeremy kept getting into trouble, going in and out of prison, and to this date, he has spent a total of 10 and a half years behind bars. He faced several different charges, including theft and corporal injury to a child. This happened in 2002, when Jeremy, then 18, harmed a 16-year-old. After this, he had to spend two years in a prison in California, where he was the next cell neighbor of Charles Manson for a while. But from all his criminal record, there was one particular arrest that would change Jeremy's life forever. And unlike any of his other arrests, that change would be a positive one. On June 18th, 2014, Jeremy was apprehended with three other men in a mission called Operation Ceasefire, and he was arrested with felony weapon charges. The Stockton Police Department posted the mugshots of the men who had been arrested on their Facebook page, as they usually did, but what happened next was totally unexpected. Less than 24 hours after the pictures were posted, Jeremy's mugshot had already gathered more than 15,000 likes and 3,700 comments of people praising Jeremy's good looks. Then, the memes started coming. People quickly started photoshopping Jeremy's face into fashion ads and movie posters. The internet was coming up with all sorts of nicknames for Jeremy, including the blue-dyed bandit and jail bay. But everyone eventually settled on hot felon. On June 20th, people started tweeting with a hashtag felon crush Friday in Jeremy's honor. He had become an internet icon overnight. On July 3rd, Jeremy was charged with the possession of a gun that had been transported across state borders in the commission of grand theft. A few months later, on on February 5th, 2015, Jeremy was finally sentenced to serve 27 months in federal prison. Jeremy remembers that his court judge went very easy on his sentence. He only gave him 27 months, even though his police report recommended a 63-month sentence. This, according to Jeremy, happened because his judge acknowledged that he had an opportunity that nobody had ever had before, and he wanted him to get out as soon as possible to leverage his viral fame. Jeremy's judge also predicted that once he was out of jail, Jeremy would need to fly around to be a model 
parole, so he gave his parole officer free reign to let him fly everywhere he needed. Most felons would never be allowed to do this. As you can imagine, Jeremy's time in prison after he blew up online wasn't like any of his other previous experiences. It was also very different from anything that people usually experience behind bars. According to Jeremy, he received literally hundreds of letters every single day. It was mostly fans sending him pictures, love letters, and also money to spend in jail. But apart from fan mail, Jeremy also got around 45 contracts, modeling, management, films. All of this was very, very new to him. And I had never, ever in my life even seen a contract before. It was like trying to read French, very overwhelming. The support of hundreds of people he didn't even know helped him to make it through the months behind bars. All of the revealing pictures from his secret admirers and the money also helped. Jeremy admitted that he was a bit scared that his 15 minutes of fame would dissolve as he was in prison, but that didn't happen. The fact that his wife, Melissa Meeks, was managing an Instagram account with his name while he served his time also helped him stay relevant. So Jeremy completed his sentence while dreaming with the prospect of a new life. And when he finally got out in 2016, it was out there waiting for him. As soon as Jeremy put one foot out of prison, he signed with White Cross Management. On March 10th, 2016, he posted an Instagram picture with his new agent, Jim Jordan. The caption read, I wanna thank my family and everybody for all of your love, support, and prayers. I'm overwhelmed and grateful for what lies ahead. I'm ready. And what was the first thing to do in Jeremy's new life? According to his agent, there were several possibilities. A few model agencies were trying to sign him and there were also movies on the table. But one of the first things he did was a fashion show. Wow the biggest fashion shows, Milan, Paris, the list goes on. I shot five movies in 10 months, some of the biggest campaigns. It was just crazy. It was a whole new world for Jeremy, and it was not easy for him to adapt or to combine his past life with his current life. He said he tried to hang out with some of his old homies, but they kind of embarrassed him when he took them to certain places. It was also weird for Jeremy to learn how to model. He had spent all of his life on the streets, and now photographers were trying to get him to pose in funny ways and fancy clothes. And as Jeremy tried to adjust to his career, he also struggled to balance out his family life. He and Melissa had been married since 2008. They had one biological kid and he was the stepfather of Melissa's two other children. Sadly, the marriage didn't resist all the changes and the couple ended up splitting up with a fair share of drama. In June 2017, while he was still married to Melissa, Jeremy was seen kissing Topshop heiress Chloe Green on a yacht in Turkey. The pictures leaked, so when Melissa went on the internet and saw pictures of her husband kissing another woman, she was heartbroken. I went into shock. I felt nauseated. It was like my whole world had been blown apart. I've never heard of Chloe Green. I thought Jeremy was working. Melissa was very upset, as you can imagine. And you know, she's right. She had always been at Jeremy's side, supporting him, loving him, raising his kid, managing his Instagram account, and he cheated on her in front of the whole world? That's mean, regardless of how cute Jeremy is. I believed in him. I believed in us. I truly believed that this would have a happy ending, it didn't have a happy ending for me. When they finally met again after the pictures came out, Jeremy told Melissa he was sorry about how she had found out about his relationship with Chloe. According to Melissa's version of the story, she told Jeremy that the best idea would be to get a divorce. According to Jeremy, however, things were slightly different. She didn't want a divorce, but I don't want to get to the point where we hated each other and couldn't co-parent. Once the divorce was finalized by the end of 2017, Jeremy had no trouble getting photographed with Chloe. They were seen going to parties, restaurants, traveling, and they looked really in love. In March 2018, the couple announced that they were expecting a child together, and in May, Jaden Meeks Green was born. There were rumors that the couple would get married after the birth of their child, but it didn't happen. In fact, by August 2019, they had already split up, supposedly on good terms. So the memes don't lie. It really looks like Jeremy is guilty of stealing women's hearts. Hopefully that will be his last romantic felony. We all know that internet fame is fleeting and Jeremy's not the first person to become a meme. But unlike other once viral sensations, it looks like Hot Felon will have much more than 15 minutes of fame. To this day, he keeps modeling and acting. His most recent film, Secret Society, just premiered on Amazon Prime in April 2021, and he's involved as an actor in four projects that are currently in different stages of development. He's also very interested in turning his life into a Hollywood movie. So Jeremy was incredibly lucky to have a second chance in life. He now lives in a 
mansion, drives a sports car, and has just released his own clothing line. During quarantine, he has been contributing to homeschooling his kids. I realized that like the rest of the United States, I am not smarter than a fourth grader. Oh, and in case you're interested, he's single, but maybe not ready to mingle just yet. I am single. Um, I am, you know, I'm trying to focus on self. By the way, Jeremy doesn't want to be called hot felon anymore. He firmly believes that people can change and that it's never too late to turn your life around. So he wants to get rid of the felon label. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sure where I stand in this situation. I'm happy that Jeremy got to turn his life around, but what about all the other people who also deserve second chances but don't have Jeremy's pretty face? Ah, uh, I don't know. I just hope Jeremy uses his fame to be a positive influence for young people. What are your thoughts on Jeremy and his life-changing mugshot? Let me know in the comments.